Okay, so it's been a little while since I've done a Facebook Live and uh, thought that I would get back into it. So today, what I want to maybe share with you is something that <clears throat> I've struggled with uh, just because as an entrepreneur, uh, it's easy to get kind of um, pulled in different directions. And so what I thought I would maybe share is something that one of my coaches, uh, George uh, Bryant, uh, showed me probably... I mean, I, I think I learned it from him maybe six months ago, but like anything, it's easy to learn something, but then not implement it and actually um, do the work. So I'm going to share my screen. Hopefully this is going to work. Uh, looks like it is. Okay. So I don't know if we got like lots of different things on the go here. So here is what I want to share with you. And it might be a little bit tricky. If you're not watching this, you're, you're obviously just listening to the podcast. Uh, hopefully, you know, it'll still work. But the way that I have learned how to manage time um, and managing time is not really even, I don't think the goal, I think it's really to maximize where your time is spent so that at the end of the day, you look back and you, you know, you're, um, you feel like you used it correctly and you're excited and energized, or do you look back at the day and say, you know what? Um, I wish, uh, you know, it, to, to, today felt like a waste. Uh, and so this is the structure. So the first is, hopefully you guys can see this. Okay. Oops. Let's put it in pink. Number one is clarity. And we'll get into each one of these a little bit more, but basically this is like the, what you're going to do and why. Okay. And you're going to see how all this ties into real estate investing, commercial real estate investing, but you could apply this to getting into shape, to developing a relationship, uh, whatever it happens to be. Okay. So clarity is number one. Number two is the needle movers. Okay. So I look at this as what's the truth and where are you focused? Okay. And then number three is containers. And this is definitely something that I learned from George. And he calls it like the buckets. And we'll get into that here in a second as well. So let's use this framework of call it maximizing your time, time management with these three focuses, clarity, needle movers, and containers. All right. So sometimes when I'm teaching something new, uh, like if I just stayed in my swim lane of commercial real estate, uh, it'd be very easy to talk. But this is something I'm very interested in. And, but it's new, right? So uh, it, you know, I, it may not be as smooth as uh, an expert uh, like George or Brendan Bouchard or Tony Robbins, but uh, most of those guys aren't talking about it as it relates to commercial real estate. So hopefully you'll, you'll still get some value out of this. So right now I've got about five projects on the go. Okay. At various stages, three are developments, one's a value add, one's a, uh, just under contract. So you might think that that is, uh, some people might think that's a lot. I talk to other people and, you know, for example, my father-in-law asked me the other day, Shane, what are we working on next, right? Like what's the next project? And it got me to realizing that I was maybe sitting back. I was spending too much time on activities that were not driving results in my investing business. And so I had to go through this exercise again and really, um, number one, get clear on what was going to really have the biggest impact for me, okay? And so for that, I'll just share with you a little bit. It is value add. It is understanding specific asset classes. I'm not gonna get into specifically what it is that I'm doing right now because it doesn't really matter. The size of the deal, uh, location, and you can really drill down on this, but these, but these are a few kind of key concepts, all right? That is just on clarity. Now, the next, and I've taken notes, but I just, just so that this is um, as, if, as effective and efficient as possible. Number two is, let's put it a different color, needle movers, okay? So needle movers would be for me, number one, finding deals. Actually, let's go A. So finding deals, uh, and that for me is specifically brokers, which means how many, how much time am I spending talking to brokers and sellers, which is going direct. All right. 
So that is one needle mover. Another needle mover for me is making offers because you can find opportunities, but if you're not making offers on properties, then it's just a waste of time. And what would another one be? <clears throat> you know, for me, because I syndicate my deals, meaning I raise capital from investors, obviously having uh, talking to and having conversations with investors, right? If, if I look back at a week and I ask myself, you know, how well, maybe on a scale of one to 10, did I do at finding deals, making offers and, ta and having conversations with investors? Uh, I could, I could, you know, really qual like I could, uh, that would be, uh, I, I was kind of uh, mix these up, but that would be a qualitative measure. I could do a quantitative measure and say, okay, how many deals did I find, right? I could apply numbers and metrics to each one of these to really measure so that it's not um, how I feel about it, all right? That would probably be helpful. Now, the third one is containers, and this is kind of an interesting, this took me a little bit of time, and frankly, I'm not even sure if I'm doing it um, exactly how it's intended, but I'm just gonna show you the three things, and let's do this in orange. Hopefully you guys will be able to see this. Creating content is a container for me, okay? Another big container is research. Researching my market, researching what's going on, researching properties. And I alluded to it up um, above, and the other one would be making offers. And really, when you think about these containers, they're big buckets, right? So creating content right now, doing this podcast, that is um, creating content. And someone might ask, like, why would I create content, right? It doesn't act actually influence research or making offers. Uh, for me, I'll just kind of give you a little bit of behind the scenes why I do this. For me, finding deals and raising money and building my team are, uh, you know, I didn't even mention it up here in the needle movers. However, all three of those are important as it relates to investing in commercial real estate, at least for me. And so when I'm finding deals, raising money and building uh, a team, I didn't write that here, all that, you know, can be directly uh, attributed, if you will, to how much content and how good the content is. So hopefully this content is good. Um, I mean, I paid money to learn this, so uh, you're obviously getting the benefit of uh, what I've, you know, invested a good amount of time and energy and, and money into, and hopefully this is helpful. So. Uh, let's see, where am I at? Eight minutes? Look at that. Okay. Um, I think I want to kind of wrap it up here. And just to summarize, the goal is essentially at the end of the week to kind of look back and, and say that I feel great about this week or day, right? Or morning, whatever it happens to be. Uh, and the reason that I've specifically focused on this aspect is because the more time you're focused on the things that are uh, moving you in the direction of success and whatever success means to you, at least in my opinion, um, you're going to continue to go in that direction. But often, and this was even, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm guilty of this, right? So I'm sharing this with you because it's putting me on notice to do more of this, right? These needle movers, finding deals, making offers, and having conversations with more investors, as well as creating content, research, and making offers, right? So a lot of this, there's there's some overlap, but I'm sharing this with you on a meta level, if you will, so that I do it, that's, that's number one. And number two, hopefully, uh, at least someone will be able to take some of this away and implement it into your own business. And like I was saying, uh, just to summarize, one, two, and three, it is clarity, it is needle movers, and it is containers or buckets, okay? So if you kind of review your week through this lens, right, this is like a framework, if you will, it's quite possible that you will hopefully have a more productive and, um, 
<laughs> I was going to say fruitful. It sounds kind of weird, but maybe that maybe that is the right word. More of a fruitful week, meaning at the end of the week, you'll be you'll be able to say, you know what? I got a lot more done than I thought I was going to. And one of the things I've actually been doing with some of my coaching clients is saying, send me your weekly goals. So on Monday, they send me their goal, Sunday or Monday. And then on Friday, basically, it's a yes or no. Did you do it? it you don't need to explain why you didn't do something. Uh, however, if you did something and it didn't work out quite the way you wanted, then uh, what you could certainly do is uh, you could talk about, yeah, like actually this worked really well or I did it, but it, it didn't really, you know, move the needle. It didn't really work for me. Okay. And um, I think that's it. Okay. I've got uh, an event I have to get to. So if this is, this is a bit of a new format, um, it's probably not ideal for doing it on the podcast. However, if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll be able to see this. Or if you join the Facebook group, you'll be able to obviously see kind of my notes. But I'm a visual learner. And so that is what I thought I would do today is just um, map out uh, my thoughts and share it with you. And if you found value, let me know. Uh, if you found my handwriting or my, my printing to be horrendous, uh, let me know that too. So that's it. Bye for now. Have a great weekend.